I'm Alex Van Pelt. And I'm Cameroon. And this is What's Happening, What's Up in the Counter-Strike World. It looks like Virtus Pro came to North America to conquer this past weekend and hold on to their title of champion of the SEVO Season 8 Finals. They went through the whole LAN Finals only losing one map. That's showing some strong play. 18 showed up to take the first place finish at the MLG.TV Arena in Columbus, Ohio with only four making it out of the groups. Virtus Pro came out of Group A only dropping one map to Dignitas and Kankas were able to show up and take the second spot of the group. Group B saw Mouseports not lose a single map in both their best of threes, and Titan following them close. In the semifinals, we saw Virtus Pro defeat Titan, and Mouseports went over Conquest, leading us to the grand finals of Virtus Pro versus Mouseports. This is where Virtus Pro started the plow and took over. In the first two maps, which were Inferno and Mirage, rounds were traded between the two teams, but BP just decided to say no and won both games 16-8. Then finally, Mouse Sports weren't able to take a breather and lost the final map, Cobblestone, 16-4. This was definitely a win needed for Virtus Pro going into the next event, being the Intel Extreme Masters San Jose with some top tier teams. Also, I wanted to mention that Conquest showed us this past weekend that they may be ready to compete in some top tournaments. Shazam and Crew showed up and played out of their minds, clutching a third, fourth place finish over other NA teams like Team Liquid and Luminosity. Sadly, they won't be able to attend the RGN Pro Series Championships due to conflicts of scheduling, but with how they're doing, maybe we'll see them at the ESL ESEA Pro League Season 2 Finals. What do you think? Do you think Conquest can finish the year out strong? Leave a comment below. Starting Saturday, November 14th and finishing on the 15th, the I Buy Power Cup is happening in Santa Ana, California at the Esports Arena. Thrown together by sponsors like Intel, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Newegg, the tournament will have a $100,000 prize pool with $65,000 going into the pockets of first place. This tournament features only North American-based teams that will meet up in Southern California to fight for money and put the spotlight on the North American scene. iBuyPower and sponsors are wanting to host more tournaments in North America and bring this scene up to the level that we see overseas. The I Buy Power Cup will start with two groups of four, fighting for two spots each, totaling four in the semifinals. Group A has Luminosity, Winter Fox, CLG, and Renegades. Group B has Cloud9, Conquest, Liquid, and Complexity. Luminosity is my favorite to win the tournament, and I think they'll be met by either Liquid or Cloud9 in the finals. The talent in the North American scene is often overshadowed by the dominating success from the Europeans. This $100,000 tournament, set strictly for North America, is pushing us in the right direction. And you can catch it all over at twitch.tv forward slash iBuyPower. Who knows, maybe as a result of this investment into the North American scene, we'll get a chance to see Shahneman's dream team in action someday. In case you missed it, in the comments from our last episode, Shahneman said that the best five would be Nitro at Entry, Eco at Rifler, Shroud at Rifler, Skadoodle at Op, and Steel, should he be unbanned, as in-game leader. I could see this lineup making some waves. Definitely some interesting picks, Shahneman. What does everyone else think? Any other mixes you'd like to see? Let us know. Intel Extreme Masters has announced that Ninjas in Pajamas will no longer be attending the San Jose event. To get some downtime, the NIP crew is standing out of the tournament but wish all the other teams competing luck. With this change, IEM has secured G2 Esports to fill the shoes of NIP. This should show for some great matches since we all saw G2 was capable of during the last major in Romania. They were able to get to the semifinals after defeating Virtus Pro 2-0 and then later lost to Envious, who would eventually win the event, 2-1 though almost taking the second map Inferno. Intel Extreme Masters San Jose is set to be an explosive event taking place November 21st and 22nd. If you're in the area, tickets are still available and this is an event you shouldn't miss. Once more news is released about the first matches, we'll let you know, so get hyped. The video that's playing is showing off the eSports Arena location in Santa Ana, California, where the RGN Pro Series Championship is scheduled to take place from November 16th to the 18th. You're not experiencing deja vu. Esports Arena is hosting back-to-back -back tournaments, bringing big names and big sponsors to America. They're throwing $30,000 in the middle of a battle between 16 CS teams and are giving us a front row seat to see who comes out on top. Who are the 16 teams, you might be asking? I'm not going to read off all the names, but here's a list of them, and some notable names on there are Cloud9, Luminosity, CSGO Lounge, and Games Academy. It's a bit of a hodgepodge of teams, full of names you've heard and some you haven't. 
but Team Liquid has an awesome wiki we'll link you to so you can check out all of the teams competing in the event and see if there's some names you haven't seen in a while. $15,000 is the first place prize for this tournament, and piggybacks off of the iBuy Power Cup we mentioned earlier, giving us four days straight of awesome North America-based CS action. Catch all the action over at azubu.tv forward slash GoRGNTV for this tournament, and leave your guesses for who will come out on top in the comments below. Guys, we'll be seeing two tournaments back to back continue on this trend of weekend after weekend tournaments. I'm not tired of seeing these great matches at all. And for your moment in CS, sometimes having everyone on site won't stop the ninja.